Hey everybody and welcome to the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your Friday reading on Divine Masculine. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at Divine Masculine's energies towards his feminine and we're also going to look at his intentions towards his Divine Feminine. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenoflight1111.com. And don't forget, if you want to book, you know, your own reading or, you know, if, if, if you go to my Queen of Light 1111 channel, please always um, watch those videos first because this is kind of like, you know, extended version or, you know, uh, you'll get more information if you, or you could put the pieces together if you watch that one first. And then this just gives you more in-depth knowledge. So please check out the Queen of Light 1111 YouTube channel as well. And please like, subscribe, and comment. Let's go ahead and get started. Bottom of the deck for Divine Masculine's energy. The theme today is about seduction, passion, and romance. Oh, wait. There is an energy of the hanged man with the Three of Cups, which is my third party card. We have the energy of the Ostrich Trap and the Queen of Air. So here's what I'm getting as the theme today. His theme for his energy towards his feminine is he wants to make a romantic gesture. He really has passion for his divine feminine, but he's also seduced her before or has been seduced by others before. And so he's been in this energy where he sacrificed this connection with his divine feminine because, you know, with other people, right? He started dating other people. He sacrificed his divine feminine and said, oh, you know what? I want to play the field. I want to do something else. And so that was part of his fear. That was part of his running behavior, right? He was running. He was running from her. And he was in this energy where he didn't want to face reality. Maybe he felt threatened. And so he was avoiding that love. And so Divine Feminine, because of that, has detached, right? She became more independent and she's she's detached. So his bottom of the, bottom of the deck really shows that, you know, he has passion for his feminine. There's a lot of passion. He wants to come forward. He wants to make a gesture but he also remembers and he knows that he needs to get rid of all of the things that are not good for him whether that is outside energies as far as other relationships any addictions drinking partying you know numbing himself out by being a social butterfly he knows he's got to let go of all of those things and people and situations that no longer serve him because he has avoided reality for too far for too long and it's time for him to be in his truth and to come into his alignment so what is divine masculine's most significant overall energy towards his feminine we have the air card so this is very much the energy it says seek a union of mind and spirit so his overall energy is he's definitely connecting his logic and his wisdom to his higher self and his intuition so i love this this came up in the divine feminine divine masculine reading that I did on queen of light 1111 and so his most significant energy towards his feminine is he is absolutely connecting his logic and his wisdom to his intuitive self towards his higher self and he's made the decision he's made the decision that he wants to bring in balance he wants to bring in an exchange there is a great deal of worry though when he's in his energy towards his feminine because he does see how this connection has broken something so beautiful fragile yet strong has broken has been destroyed and he's burdened by that but he does want to move forward king of cups he wants to move forward he wants to overcome but he's really right now connecting to his logic and to his intuition to figure out how to come forward and fix things so when he thinks about his feminine look at this dagger conflict and danger lie in wait you know, he's worried. He's very worried that his feminine is going to give her, give him a piece of her mind, okay? Because he has stabbed her in the back. He has betrayed her. He has created conflict through third-party situations, through seducing his feminine, then seducing others. He sees his divine feminine as the empress. He knows she is the one. She is his spiritual connection. She is his unconditional love. 
She is this energy of <clears throat> his soul partner, and he knows that he needs to develop. He needs to mature, but he's very concerned. He's very concerned that if he comes forward, you know, he's got to deal with the betrayal. He's got to hold himself accountable. He has to come clean. So when this dagger card comes out, it's all about the energy of betrayal, of danger, of, you know, that sword that has cut things. And he knows that he's cut, you know, himself. Um, he's also, you know, hurt his divine feminine and this spiritual connection, which was and is absolutely a love of a lifetime, an uncommon bond. What's he feeling when he feels for his feminine? Look at this card. Winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo transition. He, in his heart, he wants things to change. He wants things to change. He has been separated from his divine feminine and a commitment from his divine feminine. And he is ready to breathe life into this connection again, to rekindle the spark. So this is the change that he seeks. He wants to bring in communication. He wants to bring in change. He wants to bring in the energy of an exchange. But right now, what's really getting to him is when he's in his headspace, he knows how he did her dirty. He knows what he did to the empress who is divine feminine. He knows what he did to his soul partner. And he's trying to figure out a way to come forward and fix it. In his heart, he wants things to change. There's been separation from his feminine. Look at this. Strong connections, unions, committed partner, soulmate. He wants to breathe life into this connection again. He has been in separation from her. He has abandoned her, right? He's betrayed her. But things have changed. He's changed. And feminines, if you're listening to this, go and you're rolling your eyes or whatever go back to the queen of light reading because there was some guidance about pessimism you've got to sit in your heart space learn how to trust yourself so in his heart he wants things to change he's abandoned his feminine and this connection but now he wants to reignite it what's happening in his environment there's some confusion Right? He's imagining the worst things that can happen, the worst things she can say, rejection potentially. And so right now he's not moving, you know, towards making any, you know, um, he's not like rushing in, right? He does want to make an offer. Page of Pentacles. He wants to make an offer of union. Ten of Cups to his feminine. But right now he's on guard a little bit. He's on guard. He maybe have may have isolated himself. And he's just waiting. He's waiting to build strength until he can offer this true, solid union to divine feminine. So I said, all right, fine. What's his intention? What's his intention towards divine feminine? The hourglass. He knows time is of the essence. His intention is to come forward with something. Time is of the essence. He doesn't want it to be too late. And what is it? There is this cup of love, this divine love that he's really trying to figure out how to balance. And he's uncertain because he sees his own narcissism. He sees his own insecurities and his own vein. He sees his own ego. His feminine has been the mirror and has shown those things to him. But he's worked hard on his self-love and his self-appreciation and his self-improvement. And guess what? He's coming up. He's coming forward as the emperor. You can't make this up. Emperor, empress. He knows exactly what the divine feminine needs, wants, and deserves. And she deserves an emperor. Period. The end. So that's what's going on. In his overall energy, he knows he's got to fix things. He knows he has to fix things. But in his headspace, he gets a little caught up. He knows he wants to offer union. He's building strength. But he knows that he betrayed his divine partner. And in his heart, he wants everything to change. He wants to breathe life back into this union. 
Oh my God. Look, the other thing, if you guys didn't catch it in the beginning, Hanged Man, Three of Cups, Ostrich Train, he's done with the third party situations. He's, he knows that he sacrificed this union because of other people, because he chose other people. And now with that Hanged Man's energy, he's like, uh-uh, I am releasing these things these people, these situations that no longer serve me. I have avoided things for too long. I have ran for too long. It is time for me to grow up, to develop, and to be this emperor for myself and for my empress. Oh my God. You can't make it up. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. Have a great day. Bye.